Hi everyone, I'm Shaylin here with Reedsy. Today we're going to be talking about a pretty big topic and an age-old question, how to promote your book. Writing the book really is the first half of the battle. Now, if you want it to actually sell and get in front of the eyes of readers, you have to know how to market and promote it. We have done multiple videos on marketing your book in the past, so we'll leave some other relevant resources in the description. Today we're just gonna be covering a bunch of different tactics that you can use to promote your book. A lot of them are kind of fun little hacks that you might not know about, but can make promoting your book easier or more effective. First up is to make Amazon work for you. If you haven't seen our last video on the Amazon algorithms, head over and check that out. I'll leave a link to it. Pretty much every author distributes their book through Amazon. Because Amazon runs off a series of algorithms that determine which books it promotes or doesn't promote, and who it promotes those books to, with a bit of savviness, you can actually make the Amazon algorithm start doing a lot of promotional work for you. And who doesn't want to just like sit back and let Amazon market your book? <laughs> if you haven't seen our last video on the Amazon algorithm or algorithms, because there are several of them, check that out. We also have a video on categories and keywords. Optimizing your categories and keywords is really important for maximizing your success on the Amazon store. So here are a few things that you can do with a bit of savviness. First of all, you can actually appear in more categories than the two that you're initially allowed to select. The first way to do this is by using keywords. This is called categories with keyword requirements. Basically, if a book has these keywords, then Amazon will put those books into those categories. So it's basically like a category you can only get into if your book has specific keywords. This is really easy to do. There's basically just a database of all of the keyword requirements and you just find the applicable ones that apply to your book and use them. I'll leave a link to that database in the description. The other way is you can actually just ask. Go to KDP support, select update Amazon categories, and then what you do is you just send one email per book with all the categories that you want to be listed in. The goal here isn't to get your book into as many categories as possible. This can actually hurt your book if you're trying to list in categories that aren't applicable, but just try to get into relevant ones beyond the initial two that you're allowed to select. Another cool thing you can do is clean up your book's URL so Amazon URLs tend to look pretty messy, but they're actually pretty easy to clean up. And sharing the full link can actually be detrimental to your book's performance. The whole logistics behind it are a little complicated, so I won't get into it now. If you're curious to know why, I'll leave a link from Kindle Printer in the description that explains why it's better to share the cleaned up link. You can do this by removing everything after the slash ref equals. You also want to make sure you're sending readers to the right store. Obviously, not all readers are based in the same country. So if you send everyone to, say, the US Amazon store, they're going to have to switch to their correct country store before they can buy your book. But you can actually send people automatically to their correct country store. And it's to share a universal Amazon URL. Books to Read has a tool that makes universal Amazon URLs and it's also free. Uh, Draft Digital also has a tool called Universal Book Links that not only redirects people to their preferred Amazon country store, but just their preferred retailer in general. The next important step in promoting your book is to push your reader magnet. A reader magnet is a free incentive that you offer people in order to get mailing list subscribers. Usually it's like an ebook, like a free short story or a novella, maybe even a full novel if you have a more extensive backlist. Basically, if you would like this free book, then you just sign up for my mailing list. Um, we talk more about reader magnets in our video on mailing lists, so I'll leave a link to that in the description. But to get subscribers, it's not enough to just have a reader magnet, you also have to promote it. You can include it in the front matter of your book, so that when readers um, go to the look inside on Amazon, they'll see your reader magnet and see that it's free, even if they don't end up buying the book. You can also just put it in the book itself. This is next level. <laughs> Of course, this makes the most sense for nonfiction. Let's say your reader magnet is a checklist or some kind of free resource. You can footnote it at the point where it becomes relevant. And because it's an ebook, you can literally link to it in the ebook. Now, this doesn't make sense in a lot of fiction, but some writers do get creative and they do find ways. So post-apocalyptic author M.L. Banner created a website for a fictional research institute in his book. On that website, people could sign up for his reader magnet, which was an apocalypse survival guide. And then he was able to embed a link to that survival guide 
in his novel. If you're using BookFunnel to distribute a free ebook as your reader magnet, they make it extremely easy to add Facebook Pixel to your giveaway pages. So Facebook Pixel is an analytics tool that lets you measure the effectiveness of your advertising by analyzing the actions people have taken on your page. So if you add it to your reader magnet page, you can track conversions, optimize ads, and create custom and lookalike audiences on Facebook based on all the people who viewed your reader magnet. It's a really useful tool and it's also free. So if you have a reader magnet page and you're using BookFunnel to promote it, then it's totally worth setting that up. The next thing it's worth talking about is going wide. We've talked about this in past videos, but when it comes to ebook distribution, there are kind of two main strategies going wide and being Amazon exclusive. Being Amazon exclusive means uh, distributing through KDP Select. This means that you're only distributing through Amazon. So your ebook is not available on any other online retailer, but in exchange, Amazon will give you access to some extra promotional tools and resources. The alternative is going wide, which means distributing your ebook basically on as many retailers as you can. We have an entire video on ebook distribution, so I'll leave a link to that in the description. The thing is, even though there are advantages to KDP Select, other retailers actually have their own advantages. So on Kobo and Apple Books, pre-order sales actually count twice towards rankings. They count once at the time of the sale, and then again on your book's launch date. Whereas on Amazon, they only count once at the time of the sale. This means that if you can get a lot of pre-order sales on Apple Books and Kobo, your book will soar in the rankings on its launch date. In fact, some authors run their pre-orders exclusively through these platforms as a result. These platforms also offer 70% royalties on books priced over $10, whereas on Amazon, the royalties actually drop after this amount. Because on Amazon, there's actually a reduced royalty rate for books outside the $2.99 to $10.99 range. So if you're doing something like selling a box set, a group of multiple books sold all together, probably gonna be priced over ten dollars it's worth way more to sell that through apple books and kobo because you're going to get a way higher cut of the royalties plus apple books and kobo love exclusive deals so it's probably going to be easier to get into their promotional emails if you're only distributing through those platforms speaking of box sets the next strategy you can try is to entice readers with a box set now when we talk about box sets here we're basically talking about a multi-book ebook bundle not like a literal, you know, when you'd go to the store and you'd buy like, it'd have the fancy box and there'd be like five books and it'd be really pretty. That is not the easiest thing to pull off as a self-published author, but you can sell a bundle of all your books together. One thing you could try would be a first in a series bundle. So let's say you've published multiple series. You can create a bundle of the first book in all of your series, basically introducing readers to your entire universe with a enticing discount. Something like this might not get a ton of sales, but one sale can mean a lot. Let's say you have five books in this bundle. If someone buys it and they like your writing, that might lead to sales for your entire work, right? Like they might go on to buy every book in all five of your series. So you don't need to sell a ton of these bundles in order for them to really pay off. Plus, it doesn't cost you anything to put one of these bundles together. You can also even try a paperback bundle. Many authors offer digital box sets, but not many have a print version. Some people prefer paperback books, but also having both versions can really highlight how good a deal the ebook is and might even entice people to buy your ebook bundle. Let's say you're selling a paperback bundle for $25 and an ebook bundle for $6. It really highlights to anyone how good a deal that ebook bundle is. But again, just to be clear, a paperback box set in this case isn't really a box set because it's not actually gonna like come in a box. So you'd probably wanna call it something like a compendium because what you'd be doing would be to reformat multiple books into just one volume. So let's say you have a trilogy, you'd reformat your whole trilogy so it comes as just one book. The next really important step in promoting your book is to get reviews. Even the best book won't sell if it doesn't have reviews. Once again, we have a whole video on this, so if you want to learn more, I'll leave a link to that. But it is really important to remember that you want to start working on getting reviews before your book's launch date. Now sadly, Amazon doesn't let users post reviews of a book until its launch date, but there is a way that you can go around this. Let's say you have a launch date set, but no one can post reviews. What you can do is launch the paperback version a week before the official launch date, 
where you're gonna launch the ebook. Then everyone who is on your street team, friends, family, etc., anyone you've sent out arcs to, can leave a review on the paperback version. So those reviews will all be visible on the official launch date because it's the same product page. This way you can accumulate reviews on your ebook while it's still on pre-order. You can also get editorial reviews and add them to your book's product page. You can get an editorial review by reaching out to bloggers, or you can use our reviewing platform, Readsy Discovery, which allows you to submit your book to a pool of readers without having to submit to all of them directly. Plus, you can also get some extra visibility through the Discovery platform. I'll also leave a link to that in the description. Next, you want to work with other authors. Working with your friends in the community can benefit all of you, especially if you write in the same genre. One way to kind of break the ice and reach out to some authors in your genre would be to do a giveaway of books from those authors. So do a giveaway for say a paperback version of five different books from five of your favorite authors in your genre. This gives you a great opportunity to reach out to them and start a relationship. Pretty much any author will be happy to have their book featured in a giveaway because it's a bunch of, um, you know, extra promotion for them. And it can be a good way to break the ice and kind of start a working relationship or ideally even a friendship. If you already have a group of friends, you can also host a group giveaway. Team up with other authors. You can each offer a book for free for a limited time as part of this book's group giveaway as well to all promote each other across your platforms. You can host the giveaway through BookFunnel. If you all have newsletters, a newsletter swap is a classic way to cross promote. Promote one of your friend's books in your newsletter and they'll do the same. Ideally, you would time these newsletters around the time of something like a launch or a price promotion. You could even release a multi-author anthology. If you've got a group of like-minded friends in your genre, you can each contribute a short story to an anthology that you can then all publish together. This book will then promote all of your work. You can also create a multi-author Facebook group. Running a Facebook group is a common tactic, but it can be a lot of work with all of the admin work involved. So you can split that responsibility across multiple people. You can take turns moderating and posting content, and all of you can use the group to promote your work. I'll leave some Thai author run Facebook groups in the description for you to take a look at how they work. You can also boost sales with a price promotion. I'm not gonna go into all the details here for the sake of time because we have an entire video on price promotions, but the idea with a price promotion is that you discount your book and then you promote it while it's discounted in order to get a boost of sales. You can also try running ads. Ads do require more of a budget, they aren't a free promotion tool, but they are becoming increasingly popular. We have a few courses on ads, we've got a free course on Amazon ads, we've got another one on BookBub ads, and we've got one on Facebook ads. One of the main challenges with Amazon ads is finding relevant keywords to target. So here are some hacks. The first hack, you can just take a cue from Amazon itself. For all your books, set up a sponsored product campaign with automatic targeting. This means that Amazon will automatically decide and optimize which keywords and products to target. Then you can go into the campaign analytics to analyze the results. Now Amazon won't show you the keywords that they targeted, they'll only show you the results. However, you can get this extra level of detail in reports. You just run a search term report for sponsored product. Then you take the keywords that worked well in the auto-targeting campaign and you use them in your manual ones. You can also target BookBub's featured books. This is another way to find Amazon keywords. Sign up to BookBub's newsletters in your genre and target the featured books as long as they're a close match to yours. Books promoted through BookBub's featured deals receive a ton ton of exposure. So they're a prime candidate to piggyback off of through Amazon ads. If you want to learn more about BookBub and its various tools for authors, including featured deals and BookBub ads, um, we've got an entire video on that and I'll leave a link to that in the description. You can also use Facebook audience insights to find new targets. So selecting targets on Facebook isn't as straightforward as on Amazon or BookBub. On Facebook, only the biggest author names will show up as interests when you're setting up your targets. So one way to find new targets is through Facebook's audience insights. You can plug an interest into the sidebar, look at the page links tab, and see which other pages your audience has an affiliation with. 
way. Not all of them will be relevant to your books, but some of them might be, and you can use those as targets. You can also use and review dynamic ads. This is a great Facebook hack that lets you test a bunch of images, videos, and copy within the same ad. So when you set up a dynamic ad, you can feed Facebook with up to 10 videos or images, five headlines, five texts, five news feed descriptions, and five calls to action. Facebook will automatically rotate between all of them and monitor the results, and then we'll start to use the combinations that work the best. You can actually view how each combination performs in the breakdown menu in your dashboard, which will give you great insight for future ad campaigns, since you can see in great detail what worked best. And finally, you can create a book trailer. And once again, we have an entire video on making a book trailer uh, with some examples and some different strategies you can take. So we'll leave a link to that. I'll also leave a link to How to Market Your Book by Ricardo Fayette, which is a free ebook on marketing a book. Um, it's way more in depth, obviously, than I can be in just one video. So it's also a great resource. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos from us. We've got new writing, editing, and publishing tips every Tuesday and Friday. Until next time, bye.